Hello, YouTube. This is Brian, the American in Taiwan, and I want to welcome you guys to episode two of the Parade of Food, the Taiwanese Parade of Food. And this episode, like I said last week, in the first episode, this episode is going to be about ramen noodles, instant noodles. And so I have two kinds for you, and so let me introduce those to you. And then uh, I'll try them and we'll get underway and we can talk about that. Okay, so the first one I have for you guys today is a dry one and it looks like this. And so as you can see on the package, we have a wizard looking guy, it looks like Merlin. And he's like reading a book and there's some stars around him and there's a moon and a planet and a, and a rocket ship. And yeah, these are dry, just dry instant ramen noodles, and they're meant to be eaten dry. I don't think I've ever heard of anyone ever eating these like the way you think you would, which, you know, put them in water and, and cook them like you would any other instant noodle. But I've always seen these eaten dry, and I've only ever eaten them dry. And anyway, there you go. These are called um, science noodles, if you translate the Chinese, which is then it like literally translates to science noodles and these noodles only cost for one pack 10 NT dollars so it's incredibly incredibly cheap and I eat these all the time like literally all the time the second thing I have to share with you guys the second noodles I have to share is is this and yeah this is big this is huge, as you can see. So the dry noodles are going to be like the appetizer, the starter, and this is going to be the main course. So yeah, let me introduce you guys to this. It looks like this. This is what the packaging looks like. And as you can see, it's red and pink, and you have a bowl, and it is full of chicken soup. You have chicken three pieces of chicken, you have some slices of ginger that you can see there, you have the noodles, of course, and then you have those little red things. Those are wolfberries, and you will frequently find those in like traditional Chinese medicinal soup, if I can call it that, like you'll, you'll frequently find that, and if you come to Taiwan or if you go to China or really like anywhere in the Sinosphere in Asia, you will definitely find this if you go out to eat at like a hot pot restaurant. And so yeah, there you go. I've had this before, but not for a very, very long time. And so I'm really looking forward to like retrying it and refreshing my memory as to what it tastes like and all of that. And so yeah, just to fill you guys in on a couple more things. Inside, there's actually a little packet in there that is a packet of what's called mijo, which is like a kind of uh, rice liquor, like a rice wine, like a clear, colorless rice wine, and you put it in there. And that really, like, that really affects the flavor. It, it, it really adds a lot to the, to the soup. The, the name of these noodles is mayo jimian. So that really just means sesame oil chicken noodles. And there you are. And the cost of this big tub of fat noodles right here, if I remember correctly, was 43 NT dollars. So definitely a lot more expensive than the science noodles, but I mean, hey, look at the difference. I mean, this right here is like a full on meal, whereas this is like a tiny quick snack. So makes sense, right? Time to eat the dry science noodles. So all you gotta do is first crush the noodles within the packet. So just like that. Crush it up and then open the packet carefully so that the noodles don't spray everywhere. So opening the packet now. Okay, there we go. So I, I got it just open just at the top and uh, let's see if I can show you guys what it looks like inside. Ah, uh, there they are. There's the chunks of ramen noodle, and then there's the um, the flavor pack. So we gotta take out the flavor pack and open the flavor pack. 
So I'll shake that, get everything into one side of the packet, open that, of course. Okay, pour that in there. That's just like dry seasoning. There's some like dry green onion in there that I can see. And there's probably, the rest of it's probably just, to be honest, probably just like a load of salt and, you know, MSG and all that kind of stuff. Okay, there you go. Everything's been mixed and now we can just dig in. So let me get a big chunk of these noodles. The standard pale colored ramen noodles, dry ramen noodles. And pop it in just like a chip. It's exactly what you think it would be. <laughs> it's dry, instant ramen noodles. And obviously it's quite salty. This is a very salty kind of a snack to have. So when you eat it, then I definitely recommend you have something to drink on hand. And I do, I have water. But uh, yeah, it's good. It's not overly strong. There's no incredibly strong flavor here. Like, it's really just your standard salty noodle. And that's kind of what it's meant to be, right? It's incredibly cheap. It's just meant to be like a quick snack, just like a little bit of fuel between meals during the day. This is incredibly popular with like students and people on the run. If you're like running to work, like I'm running to work oftentimes and I'll stop at like a 7-Eleven, like just before work, just before I go in, get a packet of these and take it with me and uh, yeah, that's what these science noodles are all about. Okay, so let me finish these science noodles and once I do, then we'll get on to the Mayo Jimian and uh, that'll be interesting. Okay, so that's done and done. The dry noodles have passed and now we move on to the Mayo Jimian. So let me open it up and show you what it looks like inside before we prepare it with hot water and all that. Peel back that top about halfway, not all the way, about halfway, because I want to keep that on. That way when I pour in the water, I can close it and it'll cook the noodles. Okay, and inside we have the following. Let me take it all out. So here we go. First things first, inside you can see there are the noodles right there, the ramen noodles. They're a little bit thinner than the science noodles were, okay? Then we have this. Now inside this, it says sauce pouch. The important part of this pouch is the chicken that's inside. And if I finger it like this, I can literally feel the chunks of chicken inside, like the actual chicken meat. And the next thing here is this. This is your sesame oil, if I'm not mistaken. There you go. And after that, we have this right here. This little packet, which if I'm right, if my reading and my understanding of Chinese is not complete total shit, this is the mijo. And then the very last thing, Right here, the powder sachet. So this is just the dry, like, you know, seasonings. So I'm gonna empty all this stuff in here, and then I'm gonna go put the boiling water in it. I'm gonna set these two aside, actually. I think um, I'm gonna put these in after I've put the water in and it's boiled and cooked. I think that's a better decision. Now I'm going to take this stuff, put this in the garbage, run out, Boil some water in my electric kettle, put the water in here, close this up, let that bad boy cook, and I'll be right back, okay? So, time machine, boom. Okay guys, we're back, and some time has elapsed, and I put the hot boiling water into the noodles, and they have cooked, and now I'm going to open them. These are my chopsticks. I'm going to open that and show you guys what it all looks like. It looks like that. There you go, you can see that. That's the soup right there with the chicken and everything. Okay, like I said before, I gotta put I gotta put the mijo in. That's the 
rice liquor, the rice wine. So let me open that and put that in carefully. Okay, got that. Add that in. Ooh, it can definitely smell that mijo. It smells like alcohol. All right, now the sesame oil. All right, there we go. So I can definitely smell both of those. Those are very pungent aromas. The mijo and the sesame oil are very pungent. Let me put that down a little bit. That way you guys can see. It's kind of changed colors a little bit. It's a little bit darker now the soup is. Let me mix that up. <sighs> Ooh, I like that smell. It's a very pleasant smell. Okay, first the noodles. So blow on a little bit because it's super hot. Okay, huh? the noodles are very good. They taste like noodles. <laughs> uh, they're not, you know, they're not like extraordinary or anything. They're very solid noodles, they're very good, but they don't taste like significantly different than any other noodles in terms of the noodles. Now, the soup that it's been washed in or that it's been bathed in, whatever you wanna call it, the soup is really good. I like the soup a lot. So that's pretty awesome. That's kind of what makes this like, what it is that's kind of what makes this all worth it okay and then also two more things so the wolf berries which there you go Woo, extreme close up the wolf berry i like wolf berries a lot they have a very um unique taste all their own can't really compare it to anything but um you should definitely try wolf berries if you haven't ever and lastly, let me get some of that chicken, the actual chicken meat. Here we go. Okay, that's a decent chunk of, of chicken. So let's zoom in. There you go, okay. And uh, time to try it. Mm. Very good, very nice, tender piece of chicken. It's been bathed in the soup. It tastes just like the soup. And now I'm also getting like some flavor of like ginger. I'm getting like a stronger ginger flavor from that, which is pretty awesome. So let me get another mouthful of noodles. There you go. I'm gonna finish that. And uh, yeah, we're gonna wrap this bad boy up, okay? All right, guys, well, hey, I am done, and I am full up. There is nothing left in here. That was a really, really good meal, a very noodly meal, and I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I hope you thoroughly enjoyed watching this video, too, and me showing you guys and introducing you and explaining to you about these two very popular instant noodle brands in Taiwan that people eat all the time. I've always loved noodles. I, I've always loved instant ramen noodles. When I was a little boy, I always ate these type of noodles. It's this brand called Maruchin Ramen. And yeah, I loved them all my life. And then I came here to Taiwan and it's like you go into the supermarket and there's entire aisles just devoted to instant ramen noodles, which is freaking awesome. If you're an instant, noodle an uh, instant ramen noodle lover then you are going to love taiwan and so i guess my questions to you guys for this video in the last video i asked you guys you know do you like chips and if you like chips what kind of potato chips do you like best so for this video of course do you like instant ramen noodles and if you do what kind of noodles do you like? What are your favorite kind of instant ramen noodles? Okay, so thanks for watching and stay tuned for next week. Next week, I believe I'm going to present to you guys, ooh, let's make next week all about like fried street food. Yeah, 
fried street food. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, well, you'll just have to tune in again next week to find out. All right, guys. So once again, thank you for watching. Please remember to comment, answer the question, what's your favorite kind of instant noodles, or do you even like noodles to begin with? Please rate and please subscribe to my channel and share and all that other good stuff. And uh, yeah, bye-bye.